Hi, my name is Catherine Wendt with Syscon and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to share with you a little bit about the Sage 100 Contractor most recent releases. So if that doesn't apply to you, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you next time. For the rest of you using Sage 100 Contractor, you should be on version 21. And in January, Sage released update one to that version and it's 21.3.52. They have added several of the state tax tables. I just thought I'd Read them off to you in case you're on this list. You'll want to be sure you're on at least this version. Alabama, Colorado, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Vermont. So if you're in any of those states, make sure you're at least on 21.3.52. Also, for those of you who like the workers' comp report, you probably noticed that there was a problem with it doubling up the wages. We saw it too. So Sage has released update two, 21.3 and it is specifically released 21.3.53. It uh, has all the fixes for that workers comp report. Also it uh, takes care of a few other problems. There was an issue with the Sage API, so third-party software that uses the Sage API as it relates to subcontracts. There were some issues with a new contract amount and a couple of other fields in there. This is all taken care of with this latest release in February. So check what version you're on. Make sure you're on the latest release and make sure you're on version 21.3. Hope that's helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your week.